Hi, I'm Mark from Sharkbait here. Uh, it is uh, late March 2016. Yeah, I guess this is probably the first video of the new year. Yeah, a little late in doing it. Yeah, and I'd been kind of waiting. Uh, we introduced the new Pro Gear uh, reels uh, to our visitors to the website and to our shops uh, a few months ago. Uh, but finally now have received the smallest reel in that lineup and so now it's an appropriate time to do the video. Yeah, there are four different models uh, from Pro Gear, and we'll go through those in just a minute and see how they do. Yeah, a little bit of background. Uh, Pro Gear, oh my gosh, uh, at this point about 20 years ago, uh, was on the market, a uh, very strong player. Uh, basically what they offered was an upgrade of the old pin designs. Uh, they'd use 4 aught sized drags and squitter sized reels. Uh, made use of machined aluminum instead of composite materials or plastic or Bakelite or whatever. Uh, but basically what they were were star drag reels that represented upgrades of standard pin products. And they were very well received. Uh, the guys that tossed jigs loved them. They casted well. Drag system obviously was good with the larger size washers. You know, nice pieces. You know, but sadly, you know, they went away you know, around oh, maybe 2004, something pretty close to that. You know, and there's been kind of a dearth of, of star drag reels on the market you know, since that time. You know, Penn had a torque series, you know, $400 type reels that were quite nice but expensive. You know, you know, Okuma you know, came on the market with the Cedro series of reels, nice reels. You know, didn't hit their sales expectations and so we were able to do a, a wonderful closeout opportunity for folks and sell those pieces instead of you know, well over 300 bucks you know, or in that neighborhood. You know, we we're selling them for closer to 200 on uh, the closeout. You know, that product has, has all dried up. You know, they were nice pieces, you know, but happily Pro Gear came back. And they're a little different company. Uh, Yishi uh, was the power between <laughs> of, of the firm before in the old days, he and his brother. Um, and they're back uh, you know, with the reels. This time, however, instead of trying to do the machining out here, you know, which was you know, being done up, uh, you know, through the mid-90s and, and early 2000s, you know, they went ahead and took the production overseas. Uh, these reels are made in Taiwan. Uh, they don't come from China. They come from Taiwan, and there is a difference in terms of productive capability. Uh, we saw that in consumer electronics and computer parts, and we saw it with Okuma with the Makaira series reels, which are also produced in Taiwan. You know, so these are American designed, you know, the owners are from here, you know, however the production is done overseas and the quality of production is very, very good. Good machining, you know, well, well put together you know, using their old designs plus they've done some updating. You know, there are four models in the line and we'll go through those. There's a model 20, 30, 40 and 50. You know, they're available in both silver and in black. You know, and they all are star drags. Now there may be some lever drags coming from the firm in the future, but for now everything is a star drag and the new pro gears are here. So let's look at the reels and then we'll dig into those a little bit and conclude this video. Okay, now for the reels. Basically we have four sizes here. These are the two models, 20. These are the smallest reels in the lineup. And we'll compare these to some other reels here very shortly you know, and see how they you know, size up compared to, say, some small accurates or some avid reels. As you can see, the reels are available in a silver anodized finished as well as a black. Now, both colors are great. Now, silver, of course, once that polished silver anodizing comes off, what do you have below it? Machined aluminum. That's silver in color. On the black, that typically in the world of anodizing is the thickest coating, um, so the most protection, and the blacks look real, real good. So we've got model 20, this is the 30, same height on the side plate as the little 20, um, but a little greater line capacity. Next model up would be the 40 in black, this is the 40, taller on the side plate, holds more line, still skinny, great for casting. And then we move to the 50. This is the 50. Again, same diameter, but a little greater line capacity. Not a huge difference. It's not nearly as much difference as, let's say, an Abbott LX versus a JX. Uh, but, again, you've got a little skinnier, so a little less issue as far as line leveling. You know, for me, it's about, a, oh, maybe a thumb's width and a half on the 30. 
I get to the 40 and maybe I've got a double. Yeah, yeah, so two thumb widths. Still a skinny reel. All of these reels from Pro Gear are star drags. Every one of them. So the operation is simple. You know, you can button down the star. You know, one of the advantages for a lot of the guys that do some jigging uh, and bottom fishing, they want to be able to lock down the drag. You know, these reels will all produce oh, 24, 25 pounds worth of drag. All models within the line will produce the same drag level. Um, what changes is the line capacity. Basically two different bodies you know, between the reels and the specs are, are consistent across the board in terms of drag. The retrieve speed does change. Um, you go from uh, 5.2 to 1 on the larger models, the 40s and the 50s. On the smaller models, the gear ratio is 6 to 1. You know, so a little greater line pickup with a 6 to 1, that somewhat compensates you know, for the spool uh, diameter. Of, of all the reels, uh, your line retrieve rate is, is just about the same, you know, 38, 39 inches per crank, regardless of which model, uh, the gear ratio compensates for the difference in diameter between the two. Um, in terms of line capacity, on the smallest piece, on the 20s, manufacturer states 370 yards of 15 pound. Uh, if you want to you know, equate that into braid, basically you can, oh, let's say if we double you know, your braid is typically about a third the diameter of mono. You know, so, you know, 15 pound at 370, you're probably getting real close, real close um, to, well, let's see here, at 40 pound braid, you know, you're going to have closer to 400 you know, yards on there, perhaps a bit more. 50 pound braid, you know, which is pretty common, you know, we'll see that right about 300 on the smallest size. You know, and move on up. You know, to the 30, this will be 400 yards of 20 pound mono. Now again, you know, so let's say 50 pound braid, it's an easy 300 you know, with room for a little bit on top. Okay, when we get to the bigger reels, now you have 380 yards capacity of 25 pound mono on the 40, and you, know, you go 360 of 30 pound for the 50. Again, the difference is fairly small. Now, if we back that out, you know, go 30 pound on you know, the Model 40, again, we're going to be over 300 yards. You know, so they lend themselves real naturally to having, say, oh, 60 pound, 65 pound braid you know, on the 40s and the 50s. You know, and then uh, a reasonable top shot uh, will fit on there. You know, again, made for casting, you know, the, you know, the width of the spools across the board is, is relatively small compared to other manufacturers. In the past, you know, the Pro Gears were you know, really jig guys' favorites you know, on the long you know, 8 to 10 foot jig sticks tossing iron. That's what they're great at, you know, and these guys, no exception, they are, are tremendous casting reels. They all feature four bearings, uh, plus one uh, anti-reverse, so you've got five bearings on all models within the line. Uh, weight on the little guys is about 17 ounces, and it goes up to 21 ounces on the 50s. So 17 to 21 ounces, all have five bearings. Gear ratios are 6 to 1 on the little guys, and then uh, will be 5.1, 5 .1, uh, 5 to 1, 5.2 to 1 on the larger uh, two bodies. Uh, one, one point I didn't mention to you, um, all the reels you know, from Pro Gear come with a clamp with the exception of the little 20. You know, given how small that piece is, just not quite enough room to stick in the bolts you know, on the sides here. Not enough meat of the middle. Uh, so again, no clamp on the smallest 20. You do have clamps on all the other models. And you know, the, the expectation is little 20 is going to be fished at 15 to say 25 pound on top. You know, not critical to have the clamp unless you're putting it around a jig stick, at which point, yeah, that's that's the downside. But you know, fitting it this little guy on some of the skinnier rods out there, like the, uh, the new United Composites that are a real thin diameter, nice little match, similar to say an accurate you know, 500 narrow 400 narrow type of size. Now we'll do a little comparison of sizes. I've put a little dot on uh, the spools here so we can spin these guys in just a moment and see how they perform. In terms of relative size, let's let's take a look at these guys compared to some other folks. Now, 
This is an accurate 400, roughly equivalent size uh, to the Pro Gear. Um, so a 400 sizes up pretty well. A 400 narrow is going to look like uh, the little 20. This is a 30 compared to an accurate 40. And a little Avid SX. This is something a lot of us are familiar with. The Pro Gear is just a tad wider, but not as skinny as, say, an SXJ, which is real skinny. Um, so similar in terms of size. Compared to the 20, you can see the 20 is narrower. Uh, than would be the Avid SX. So that is our relative sizing <laughs> on these guys. Now let's see how these little suckers spin. Okay. Okay, starting with a little 20. Here's our dot. Let's see how we do. Maybe I should put the piece down. It seems to spin quite well. <laughs> That's excellent free school. <laughs> no knocks about that. Now these reels are fresh out of the box. Um, expect, you know, given lubrication, that sort of thing, for the spin to actually increase over time. But that's dandy free spool. No knocks there. And let's see how we do on a 30. Again, that's, uh, that's some nice free spool. Great casting reels. Now one other difference on uh, the two body sizes of Pro Gear reels. Currently, the two smallest size will use an oval shaped ball uh, and the 40s and the 50s have a round ball. Uh, a lot of guys like this ball, but it'll probably go away. So if you're looking for this type of knob, suggestion is to get it sooner than later, because over time it'll probably re be replaced with this shape, which is probably more common you know, on other reels, whether they be, oh, some of the pins you know, would have the oval shape and, and the avits. You know, the round is more reminiscent to the shape that you know, Accurate used to use. Uh, on their pieces for the jigging you know, application, they've since gone to an oval. So I, I expect to see a change that way with one style of handle, although it's kind of nice having that option. And as you can see, these guys all have a rather nice spin to them. They do well. Well, that concludes a little introduction on the Pro Gear reels uh, from us. Um, you know, nice to see uh, another firm uh, getting into this business. Uh, it, they are made overseas. They're not made here in America. Uh, they're owned by, you know, obviously uh, Ishi and his brother uh, with Pro Gear. Uh, are, are... Okay, that concludes our whole introduction of Pro Gear reels. Uh, nice seeing these guys back on the market again. Yeah, again, yeah, all the reels are available at this point anyway in silver or black. Yeah, both excellent colors yeah, to select yeah, for the reels. You know, you'll, you'll see one color may look better on one rod than the other, or you may look at it simply from the standpoint of wear and boat rash and which is going to hold up better over time. Yeah, the black finish is always, in the world of anodizing, you know, the most durable. You know, color you can put on a reel. And silver makes sense too because underneath the silver anodizing you've got machined aluminum. Uh, so, you know, the anodizing provides protection you know, from saltwater corrosion. Like any metal reel, you know, a little bit of maintenance can make these a lifetime ownership type product. Drags are oversized, you know, high, high capability in terms of the drags for the guys bottom fishing. You know, that's wonderful. You know, to have a star because on the star drag reels, you can go ahead and button these things down you know, and really lock them uh, with no negative effect as far as side load pressure on a bearing like you would have on a lever drag reel. There's room in a guy's arsenal for both star drags and lever drags. It's nice to have a star drag option. These are all machined aluminum, you know, great drag system, and very reasonably priced. I think uh, the reels are all $249 at this point in time. Uh, that's that's a value you know, for what they're offering. You can compare them to the old Daiwa uh, Star Drake Saltigas, which are great pieces. They were in the 400s. Um, the Okuma Cedroses were 300 bucks. 
you know, these guys look to be a very good value, solid performance, great casting capability, excellent drag. And you know, I mentioned the uh, anti-reverse system. If you hear that sound, that's, that's beauty. Um, Pro Gears make use of both a one-way anti-reverse bearing, so it's instantaneous. It's not a lot of slop as far as back play on the handle. That's a, a product of the anti-reverse bearing. However, they also have dogs. And what's the benefit with the dog, aside from that sound? That's the sound of confidence. Now, it, a bearing is, is dandy, but at some point in life, a bearing will fail. At which point, what happens to the handle? It starts spinning backwards. You know, that's not a good thing. You know, with dogs, you have that as a backup system. Uh, dogs are mechanical, they're reliable, they don't go bad. You know, but you'll have a click sound. Now, that really is a good thing. I, I've talked to a couple of clients and said, oh no, I don't like having any noise. What's it gonna do, disturb the fish? I don't think so. You know, that should be a sound of something that we wanna see, and we do. You know, most of the good manufacturers will incorporate an additional backup you know, to a one-way bearing. You know, Accurate's Dauntlesses, $600 reels, give you a one-way bearing as well as dogs. You know, you know, a lot of the pin reels, the Makaira reels. You know, they, they, most of these guys don't figure this one out. And in, in conclusion, uh, you know, four different models from Pro Gear at the present time. They may come out with some lever drags in the future. There's discussion about a two-speed model. We may see that over the next year or so. You know, for now, it's wonderful to have these four models on the market. You know, it's nice to have a star drag option. And star drags make a lot of sense for a lot of applications. Um, you know, it used to be we didn't have any lever drags to work with. Everything was a star until you got to the big trolling reels. Now it seems like most manufacturers are really getting on the lever drag, uh, you know, bandwagon, especially now that we've got lever drags that can spin. You know, in the case of a star drag, they spin and you can button down that, that drag to its max level without creating issues you know, from you know, side load pressure on the spool bearing, you know, which is, you know, that's the one downside to a lever drag reel if you don't fish it appropriately you know, as the manufacturer intended. In the case of these guys, you can fish light drag, you can fish heavy drag, it will have no effect on, on the way the spool operates. You know, pretty nice and nice to see Pro Gear back. They're back. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, you know, check in later. We'll get some more up here. Uh, you know, this time of year, I usually try and knock out a few as we see some new gear. I definitely am remiss. I need to get the uh, the new United Composites rods and, and show those guys off to you too. I'll try and get that one done in the next week or so. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our videos and, and visiting our YouTube channel as well as Sharkbait.com. Much appreciated. Bye bye.